Hey guys, welcome to game five of the N18 battles played from August 21st. I think this is the second set. Bottom right hand corner, we have Hawk starting as the Red Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we have Just starting as the Orange Protoss. And Just showing a bit of. I mean, I honestly. I honestly felt like last match that. Uh, the previous match to this, that. Uh, Striker GG'd a little bit early. Mostly I was looking for Defiler and Zerglings. But the thing was is that just with the double forge, and I think this might be the aspect of it, is, is I think just getting that double forge and continuing to stay in the match just had such fantastic upgrades that especially trying to switch back into some sort of Zergling counter and just the sheer amount of Dragoons, he just felt that, yeah, the upgrade advantage was too large, despite having a superior bank. Really, I think, though, the Defilers and the Zerglings would have had to be... And the window was closing, is the other thing. Is it, As soon as Just had those Zealots, I think, with that combination force, I think that might have been the right call from Striker. Because the Zealots can chew through the Zerglings very rapidly. While it was a Dragoon-heavy army, the Defiler dropping... I don't know. Let's not talk about last match. Let's look forward to the future and play from there. But I do want to recommentate that one. Just to try and analyze it. Just, I think, is going to open up Forge first once again. Because this is a very late... It's kind of almost a lackadaisical uh, Forge at this stage. Looks like we saw a 12 hatch opposite corner from Hawk. So Hawk playing a little bit more economically. Just scouting the upper left-hand corner first. Anyway, I want to go ahead and... I think the upgrade advantage was maybe the uh, difference in play. And even with the Defiler tech lacking Plague. Man, it's just stuck in my brain. Regardless. Anyway... Still feel like it was a bit of an early GG and it could have been fought out. Especially considering Just was more like, it was soon to be down to one base. Just looking to do maybe some cannon pressure, canceling it immediately. So Hawk sees it and immediately pulls out. So almost able to pull something sneaky. This should be Nexus initially for Just. Loses about, you always lose a third of your minerals when you do something like that and have to cancel. And Hawk looks like he's going to go ahead and move that drone out to go ahead and scout that up. I'm wondering if he's going to go ahead and... I like the drone, st the drone stealing the minerals. He does have that spawning pool up. I think he's going to go for three hatch play. He's got a second drone actually moving across. So is he going to take a third hatch at kind of a hidden location? So the drone finds just space. Gateway there on the front sealing things in. But this drone still meandering up. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and take a hatchery in the upper right hand corner. Which suggests this is going to be maybe more three hatch mu to play. Extractor up. Mostly because trying to defend this at a distance location with lurkers, with hydralisks, you got a lot of territory to cover to try to defend. But when you have mutalisks in there, they gotta run all that way. That's kind of the distance where the mutalisks can harass the zelts or other things all the way across the map. Um, oftentimes what this can provoke from I'm wondering if this is what we're gonna see. If we're gonna see just scout this and then maybe Goodnight has a lot of minerals on it. So I'm wondering if he's going to try to opt for potentially Corsair Reaver on this map. That tends to be the counter, not the counter, that tends to be a popular style of play on large maps that have lots of minerals to work with. But we'll see. Probe Scout taking a bit of damage, still going to see that layer in. Uh, see if it walks out that natural expansion. No second geyser there, but I still think we're yeah going to see three hatch mules overall. 7x core warping in. Uh, this is actually the first Zealot from Just, which feels very, very late overall. So he's basically, he wanted to get an earlier cybernetic score, it looks like. Maybe to get eyes. Assimilator dropping down as well. So it looks like he's going to go maybe for Templar Tech. It is possible that he is going to go. I also want to see double Stargate uh, upon what's kind of being scouted. It looks like that probe actually walking up is going to find this base in the upper right hand corner. Wow, Psychic. So finding the creep, finding that third base, and I, what I'm hoping this provokes is, yeah, maybe double Stargate. So we'll see, though. Stargate morphing in. Overlord's going to be able to walk in from Hawk and just confirm that that Stargate is, in fact, being built. Lair tech just about finished. Now, here's the thing. Hawk can cycle back towards that four hatch play otherwise, but I would, if I was him, I would feel level one weapons actually being canceled here by Just. He's getting the Citadel of Adun. I almost want to see Citadel... So if he's going to go this route, and if Hawk is going to go for more of that four-hatch rotation play, 
some drones here at the uh, planet right there. What I would like to see is, especially with the distance right here, is if you can get Citadel of Adun and get Zealot Leg Speed, even with those Mutalisks, they can cover a lot of territory very, very rapidly. So I'm almost wondering if he wants to go ahead and drop the Citadel of Adun, get a second gateway down a little bit sooner, and see if he can go ahead and prod and poke or at least force some difficult positional play. I, I'm going to say I don't like the four hatch spire for this particular situation, where this hatchery is, where the third hatchery is so far away, and harder because this is when you're doing the four hatch uh, mutalisk or whatnot, you you're kind of relegating yourself to play a little bit more defensively to get the scourge to go ahead and deal with corsair, uh, things along those lines. Fifth hatchery going into the upper right hand corner, but basically, if you're going to absorb attacks, that means you kind of want to be able to reinforce rapidly, which means either you're going to have to place more Sutton colonies or just have something else. You're going to need more essentially to defend that expansion in the upper right hand corner. And I'm wondering if that is going to be just its target over and all. Actually, people are very greedy for having an additional six hatchery at the expansion in the upper right, just daring just, and especially considering just's previous attack. In these matches, just daring just to kind of come at him with a lot of these zealots. Looks like a Dark Templar is being produced. We do see an additional gateway plop down, zealot leg speed along the way. So three initial Corsair level one weapons as well. Several overlords getting picked out of the air. Hawk's in the red. And Hawk does have a, a grouping of Zerglings, but with enough zealots, with enough upgrades, I don't know that he's going to... Yeah, I don't know that he's going to have enough. Anyway, Carapace being upgraded. So Hawk is going to want to try to rely on those Mutalisks here in the mid-game. He's already getting two creep colonies uh, preemptively to potentially adjust this. Dark Templar already taking out the Zerglings on the front. The Corsair's trying to hunt down that Scourge, not able to deny information, actually landing as well. That's a bit of a, And actually also seeing, I think, a good portion of that tech. So just plopping three gateways to follow. Dark Templar making its way to the upper right. Three, and yeah, see, this is what this is forcing. Additional, uh, a lot of something colonies in the upper right. Evolution Chamber there as well. Overlord is going to be able to spot this overhead. Some Zerglings trying to make their way up to, to deal with this as well, but I think this is going to... Well, maybe not. Dark Templar gets wiped out before it's really able to do any damage. So, despite all of my talk of like, oh man, that's going to be hard to defend, whatnot, it looks like the Sunkins are there in time and Hawk defends. Grabbing a Spore Colony at his natural expansion, and now he is shelling up on four bases. So this is four bases versus two. Just needs to do something to slow his opponent down. Needs to do something to try to stay in this match economically. And he is grabbing, it looks like this is going to be five gateways overall. He's going to have a small window where he can kind of maybe punch through and get some economic damage. And I'm hoping it's going to happen in this upper right hand corner. But if he doesn't go and stop Hawk, Hawk is going to turn into just a macro beast in short order. And it looks like he's almost playing this like crazy Zerg style. Uh, although without the Carapace upgrade or whatnot, where he's just dropping a bunch of creep colonies, sim sitting up at all of these locations. And yeah, he's just going to sit back. Already has one Evolution Chamber. I'm wondering if he's going to go for the double Evolution Chamber. He's getting that Carapace upgrade. Zelts and Corsair is now streaming out to go ahead and assail this upper right-hand corner. And this is, again, that the problem is I don't know that Hawk can reinforce in time. The Corsairs able to sneak in. The Zealots marching in. Is, now, is the Sim City and this amount of something colonies enough is the next question. Zealots are getting disrupted. Some nice drone drilling to make it very difficult for these Zealots to get through. The Zealots are going to, a handful of Zealots actually, are going to march all the way into the main, and there's nothing protecting this, so at least going to be able to do some economic harassment. Scourge moving up, not able, I think one of them landed, not able to take out any Corsair, however. So a decent amount of economic harassment there. The Zealots marching in and getting themselves wiped out, actually, on those Sunken Colonies to follow, so able to do a little bit of economic disruption here, but I don't know that it is enough. And all sorts of Scourge and Mutalisks and everything else going to thin this Corsair count out as well. Trying to spread and split, but it is not happening. I don't know. So, yeah, even if these Corsair survive, they're going to be extremely wounded as they're making it back into the base. More Zealots marching out, and now this is looking like... And also, these Zealots going to be taking a lot of damage as they're marching the way across to try to get back into this upper right corner. The drone's spreading back to the main. But now Hawk going to be able to buy himself some time. These Sun Colonies really did not take any damage. And this is just going to be, I think, yeah, a bunch of gateways. So that's eight gateways. I think this is an all-in situation effectively from Just. He needs to just pour out as many units as he possibly can to try to wipe out 
Hawk and stay in this match. The Zealots rapidly getting wiped out by these Mutalisks and these three something colonies. Not able to get anything accomplished there. Somehow Zealot able to just power through and march through everything that was happening at the main. So and able to get a handful of drone kills. But here's the thing. I don't know that dr two drone kills is going to be sufficient. Especially when Hawk is sitting at 51 probes overall. He's got that Queen's Nest. He's got four bases secured and mining at this stage. Two Archons morphing in. Just will have a lot of trouble just surviving, to be honest. He's plopping down yet another gateway. And he's effectively, yeah, just all in. That's nine gateways off two bases. Which is just about as much as you can produce. And the Mutalisks are moving in in a huge wave now. Looking for what they can do. Like, yeah, you got Archons, but this is very difficult micro. Mo whiffing that size Storm. And the Archons can't, are having a lot of trouble getting back behind that line. Well, actually, wow! Wondering what that trick was. Able to actually just... I'm wondering if that was even intentional. The Archon able to just morph straight through the line. But that's still just two... Pinning this all back. There's only a single cannon at the main. Some more Corsairs being produced. But even in the midst of this... Hawk continues to macro up. He continues to go ahead and push towards Hive Tech. Even if Just is able to, to field an army, I don't know that he's going to have enough to stop anything. Hawk realizing, okay, the Archons aren't here. Let me go ahead and do some economic damage at the main. Probe just getting obliterated. All sorts of units now flooding out from Just. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor on them with the Archons. Now, more something colonies being dropped. Those Mutalists are going to have to come back to home base. Now, did Just find the timing? And catch Hawk unaware. Hawk just with all sorts of just clutter at this natural expansion. Great size storm catching a lot of those Hydralisks. The Hydralisks sitting on the high ground. Just and this almost feels like a medieval battle right here on the castle walls. Just the Hydralisks throwing the tar and the pitch and everything. The kitchen sink to try to stop these Zealots. If he repels this attack, he will in fact win this game. The Corsair is moving in, hunting down. Yeah, just realizing it is not enough. And that is GG. Hawk takes the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, well played. Thanks for listening.